What's going on, fam? What's going on? It's your man, Rebel Life. Boxing. Check it out. Check it out. I got to talk about this shit. I have to talk about what I'm seeing now on some of these other boxing channels. I'm seeing them keep bringing up Kel Brook. They keep bringing up Kel Brook. The version of Kel Brook that Bud fought. Was he the best version of Kel Brook? That Bud fought. Did Bud fought fight the better version of Kel Brook? Why are we still talking about this shit, bro? Why the fuck are we still talking about this? The fight is here. Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford about the bang. So why are we still talking about their past opponents, dude? Yes, sir. You want to know what version Kell Brook that Bud fought and, and Errol Spence fought? To be honest, both of them fought a washed up Kell Brook. Errol Spence too. Because he was already fucked up when Errol got him. Yeah, I said it. Kell Brook, his best, he put up his best performance against, to me, his last best performance was against Triple G. He did really good against Triple G. 160 pounder. Even though he got his face broke, he put on a good showing of himself. After that, he had a semi-good performance against uh, Errol Spence. All right? And he was already damaged goods, bro. When you got... Listen, I, I already said this. When somebody... When you have your face broke, it's never the same again. You think your Dinas Ugas face is going to be the same again? Chances are, if he fight again, he's going to get his face broke again. If he fight somebody with power again, he's going to get his face broke again. A oh, new way, I believe. Um, I believe a new way. Monster New Way had his face broke. I think his orbital bowl was smashed. Uh, Nonito Denaire smashed his face in their first fight. If you fight somebody with some real power and skill, chances are a new way gonna get that face broke again. Probably not on the same side. Maybe the other one. It's just like a wall. You know, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you punch a hole in the wall, and the wall is cracked. You plaster up the wall it's, it's, it's never going to be the same wall again It's not It's going to be a weakened wall Same thing with your skull it's, uh, your, your, your facial bones are, are very strong But The idea that they got to put titanium plates To hold your shit together That's telling you something right there That it's never going to be the same face again So We keep talking about Kell Brook was a cokehead when he fought Bud. But then Kell Brook said he felt good. So you taking away the credibility from Terrence Crawford. I'm not going to sit up here and say, yo, Errol Spence win against Kell Brook was whack because he already had his face broke. That's taken away from the credibility of Errol Spence of being a good fighter, of going to get a belt. Of, um, and despite of what you, how you feel about Kell Brook, he still was a champion with Errol Ford. But he was damaged goods, bro. He was going to lose that belt to somebody. Just so happened it was Errol Spence. That's it. But why are we still talking about Terrence Crawford? Why are these dudes still on his? Why are they sweating him so? What what is it? What is it about Bud that these dudes don't like, bro? I can't understand it. The man take care of his family. The man don't be out there getting getting drunk and fucked up. He take care of his body. Why would you hate a man like that, bro? I don't hear no Bud fans out here talking about Errol Spence's last opponents was 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 washed up or by the time Sean Porter got to Errol Spence. He already got had losses on his record. All guys already had losses. All guys is pillow fist. Even though it's true, all guys is all guys ain't known for no punching power. And he did wobble Errol Spence, by the way. Keep that in mind. 
And no, I'm not talking about when he punched his mouthpiece out. I'm talking about everything that set off that chain of events. Y'all know what punch I'm talking about. When my man was like this, when he when he hit him and my man was like this. Yeah, that punch. But these dudes, they, they, they keep going on and on and on. What, what version of Kell Brook they, they bought for? So what? He fought who they put in front of him. That's who he fought. He fought who they put in front of him. If you want to go down that route, Errol Spence fought a bust of a, a, a half decent faced Kell Brook. A weakened skull Kell Brook. Since you wanna you wanna take it there with the with the sniffing and all that with the white. Ye Arrow fought a vulnerable Kell Brook, a washed up Kell Brook that Triple G helped him break that other fucking eye. That's pretty much what happened. Yeah, man, God, leave, man. Would y'all leave it alone already? The fight is here. We got it. We got it. Leave it alone. I know what it is. They know what's about to happen July 29th. They nervous. They scared. They like, uh oh. Did you see how confident Terrence Crawford was? You seen you seen uh, Errol Spence? Errol Spence looked like he was like like serious, like he ready to get it in. At the same time, I seen a little bit of urgency in his face. <laughs> hey, listen, we gonna find out why it's why it's levels to this shit. We ain't saying Errol Spence ain't a good fighter. That's the reason why everybody wanted this fight. And I just don't, I don't get that. You know, a lot of the Bud supporters, there's some extreme ones and then there's some normal ones. For the most part, we give Errol Spence his flag. But we know he's a great fighter. That's why we want to see the fight because we know there's a, there's a chance he could beat Terrence Crawford. Slim chance. We don't think he's going to win. We think he'll get knocked out. We think Errol gonna get knocked out, but we thinking just like y'all thinking. But see, y'all taking it to another level. They, the Errol Spence fans is like, they going into some other shit. You know, they still talking about his past opponents. What do they got to do with Errol Spence? Fuck the past opponents. We talking about Errol Spence Jr., bro. And then y'all talk about Bud is, he he got a weak chin and all this and this and under eye. Right, so then why y'all, why y'all clamoring to see the fight then if he's such a weak chin Dude, and he ain't, and he can't do this and that. Then why you want to see him fight Bud? Why you want to see him fight Bud? I thought these dudes was was, was their skill level was almost even keel, almost key word. It's not. Errol Spence has skills, but he doesn't have the skill set of a Terrence Crawford. We ain't taking that away from Errol Spence. He's a, he's a he's a motherfucking monster. But. He's not. A, who's he a monster against? Who he, he been a monster against? Who? Early on, he was knocking out a lot of what y'all like to call cab drivers, right? He just started facing real comp. I would say right after Kell Brook, right on the edge line, right there, Kell Brook. So y'all be saying that about Bud all the time. Bud for oh, Ray Beltran, uh, Indongo. They ain't nobody. Who's Victor Posta? He was nobody. Who was Gamboa? He was. I, I never say that about Errol Spence opponents, but I'll start saying that shit because y'all saying that shit. So then that's the reason I'll say it. Errol fought who he had to fight. He fought who they threw in front of him. And we gonna leave that. We gonna leave that eye shit alone too, because he ain't breaking no buds eye. He ain't breaking bud eye. It's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen, Spence heads. He is not breaking Terrence Crawford's eye. We already know that. So get that out of your mind. Fuck around, it might be the other way around though. Remember, your guy was the one with the detached retina, so y'all got a lot to more worried about than we do. Yeah, keep that in mind. This is gonna be something else to witness, boy. I'm telling you. But I really ain't got nothing else to say, man. But you, you know the channels already. These dudes are fixated on Terrence Crawford's opponents for some reason. And I guarantee you, a, 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 a coked up Kell Brook could knock half new motherfuckers out. <laughs> they couldn't beat Kell Brook. These channels are, 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 are hilarious, man. Man, 
man, the Errol Spence supporters, bro, not all of them. There's some really cool ones, but man, these other ones that got the blindfolds on, delusional as a motherfucker, bro. Absolute delusional. But uh, I'll catch y'all later. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Let me know what y'all think. Catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm off this. Peace out.